the question says, what is the value of each letter in the following sentences? Like the first one, letter X, which is the unknown. Here you have the W, to be the unknown letter. R, and we have S. So we have to figure out what each letter stands for in these sentences. Okay, so we have solution. So for the first one, we have X minus 9 equals to 14. Okay, so when we look at this side of the equation, the left side of the equation, what do we subtract 9 from? That will give us 14. Okay, so we can easily do it this way. Since we have minus 9, we can add 9 to both sides. So we have X minus 9 plus 9 equals 14 plus 9. Okay. So minus 9 plus 9, this one is out of it. So you have just x. So 14 plus 9, you have 23. So by the time you check it and put the value of x to be 23 here, you will get 14. So you have 23 minus 9. x is now 23 minus 9. That gives us 14. So that means x stands for 14. That is number one. So for the second one, we have... 5 times w equals 46. So what do you multiply with 5 that will give us 46? We don't know. So since we have multiplication sign and we have to multiply something with 5 to have 46. So what we can do now is to divide this with this. So we can say 46 divided by 5. So that gives us 5 and 46 is 5 times 9 is 5 times 8 is 40. 5 times 9 is 45. So we have 9 number 1 over 5. Or we have it as 46 over 45. This one is the missed fraction or improper fraction as W. Okay, so by the time we check, we put this back here and multiply it together, we must get 46. So we have 5 times 46 over 5. So by the time it's divide, 5 here is 1, 5 here is 1. So 1 times 46 gives 46. So that means W stands for 46 over 5 or 9 number 1 over 5. That's the value of W. For the third one, we have R divided by 5 equals to 5 by the time it R. So since we have division, so what this one is, means is that what do you divide what number do you divide with 5 to give you 5? So to determine the number to divide with 5, to give us 5, we need to multiply. Okay? So we have 5 times 5, that gives us 25. Okay? By the time we check it, let's replace R with 25. So we have 25 divided by 5, which will give us this 5. So that means our R equals 25 for this. So for the last one, which is number 4, I have 4 times x equals to 100. So 4 times x equals to 100, meaning what do you multiply with 4 to give us 100? So the simple way to do this is, since we have multiplication, we do our division. So we have x equals 100 divided by 4. That should give us 25. Okay, by the time we say check, in this, we have 4 times our S is 25. That gives us 100. Thank you very much.